Welcome back to also cybersecurity episodes with Cyber Queen. When you consider the topic of information security or more commonly cybersecurity, you must consider the very foundational concept of the CIA triad, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Understanding this principle will not only enhance your security strategies, but also ensure that your services are reliable and consistently accessible. Hi, I'm Venetia. I'm the founder of Cyber Queen, a cloud security architect and Microsoft MVP. Together with also, we bring you cybersecurity insights packed with the latest news and diverse perspectives. Don't forget to check out the also cloud marketplace for more insights. Today, we are discussing the crucial concept of business continuity, disaster recovery, and how Azure Lighthouse can help manage these aspects at scale. Plus, we'll dive into Azure certifications and training resources that can empower you and your team to excel in cloud security. In order to understand the link between disaster recovery, DR, business continuity, BC, and security. Let's take a deeper look at the CIA triad. Now, the CIA triad is a model that's designed to guide policies for information security in an organization. It stands for confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Each part is a fundamental security goal. So, Confidentiality is there to ensure that sensitive information is accessed only by an authorized audience. Integrity guarantees that the information is trustworthy and accurate. And availability, which we will in fact focus on today, ensures that information and resources are accessible to authorized users when needed. Now, by understanding the importance of this fundamental cybersecurity concept, you will enhance your security strategies, but also ensure your services are reliable and consistently accessible. Let's explore how Azure supports this critical aspect of cybersecurity. When we look at business continuity and disaster recovery, so BC and DR. These are not just buzzwords. They are essential strategies that ensure that your operations can continue with minimal disruption during unplanned and potentially tragic events. Business continuity involves planning and implementing processes to make sure that your organization's most important functions can continue during and after a disaster. And disaster recovery focuses on quickly restoring systems and access to data following a disruption. So whether it's like a natural disaster or a cyber attack or even a human error, DR is there to plan how fast we can actually restore services to its normal operations. Now, Azure provides some great tools and services to support these strategies, including Azure Site Recovery and Azure Backup. These services ensure that your applications and data are protected and can be restored in any any scenario which ultimately reduces downtime and loss. So let's now look at the purpose of these features. When we look at Azure Site Recovery, ASR, this is not just a backup solution, but it's a business continuity tool that ensures applications and their data are always available. No matter what happens, ASR, Azure Site Recovery, provides disaster recovery as a service. Basically, D-R-A-A-S, disaster recovery as a service by replicating workloads running on physical and virtual machines from a primary site to a secondary location. This replication can be from one Azure region to another, from on-premise to Azure, or even from one on-premise site to another. ASR includes a few core features. First is automatic replication. Now, once this is set up, it automates the replication of the data at defined intervals. So the frequency can be as low as either every 30 seconds, ensuring that your data is continuously up to date. 
Then we have customizable recovery plans. So you can customize the order in which machines are restored. You can create groups of machines that need to be started together and even integrate custom scripts to run during recovery to ensure complex multi-tier applications boot up correctly. Then we have non-disruptive DR testing. So this is to test your disaster recovery plan without affecting your production environment. This ensures that your DR strategy is effective and functional without any risk to your actual operations. We also have RTO and RPO objectives. Now Azure Site Recovery helps to meet stringent recovery time objectives, RTO, and recovery point objectives, RPO, by minimizing the recovery times and data loss in any disaster type scenario. By using Azure Site Recovery, businesses can ensure that critical applications continue to run. Even if their primary IT infrastructure is compromised, you can keep continuity and reduce downtime as well as costs. Now let's talk a little bit about Azure Backup. Now Azure Backup is designed to protect your data across data centers. This includes Azure and on-premise environments, offering a simple yet powerful service to manage your backups at scale. Azure Backup provides automated protection and orchestrated recovery, which is important in supporting data integrity and availability. The key features of Azure Backup include centralized management. This is the option where you can manage backup centrally inside of Azure. This approach really helps to simplify the protection of your data across various enterprise environments. We also have long-term retention. So Azure Backup offers configurable retention policies, which allows you to retain your backups for as long as your compliance or business requirements dictate. Then there is application consistent backup. So this ensures that the backups taken are application consistent. So which means that they capture the application state and the data at the same point in time. And this is really important for applications like databases where restoring data from inconsistent backups can lead to data corruption. There's also encryption and compression. So data is encrypted in transit and at rest, ensuring that your backup data is secure. Compression minimizes the storage footprint, which reduces the cost and improves backup and restore times. There's incremental backup. So after the first full backup, Azure Backup transfers only the changed data, which then in turn optimizes the storage usage and helps to reduce the actual backup time. Azure Backup's integration with other Microsoft services like SQL Server, SharePoint, and Exchange also helps to ensure that even complex enterprise environments can be backed up and restored in a way that's both secure and efficient. All right, with Azure Site Recovery and Azure Backup, we've covered how you can protect your data and ensure your applications keep running, even during disruptions. But managing these capabilities across diverse environments and multiple Azure tenants can be complex. And this is where Azure Lighthouse comes into play. Azure Lighthouse really helps in providing a unified management experience. So let's take a moment to dive into what Azure Lighthouse is and how it can make managing your security and compliance across environments, not just possible, but more streamlined and effective. This is particularly interesting if you are a service provider looking to manage multiple client environments or you're a business with multiple tenants. Now Azure Lighthouse offers a next level management solution that empowers service providers and enterprise IT teams to oversee and operate Azure at scale across multiple tenants. With Azure Lighthouse, managing resources becomes more efficient, granting you greater transparency and control regardless of the number of environments that you're actually handling. Some of the benefits and features of Azure Lighthouse include delegated resources. So Lighthouse uses delegated resource management, which allows service providers to manage resources across different Azure tenants. This is done through a single unified management portal, which enhances visibility and control without compromising on the security of the actual managed tenants. Then there's also 
across tenant management. Now, in this case, you can manage service agreements across several Azure tenants simultaneously. This is also useful for MSPs, managed service providers, and organizations with complex IT environments really benefit from this. It reduces the overhead of switching between different tenants or multiple portals. You can also experience enhanced security and access control. So Azure Lighthouse allows you to define precise access control policies by using Azure's robust RBAC, so role-based access control, and Azure policy. You can ensure that the right people have the right level of access, which in turn helps to improve security and compliance across customer engagements and customer environments. There's also scalable automation, so you can automate common tasks and apply governance at scale. Azure Lighthouse's automation capabilities allow you to deploy resources and apply updates as well as monitor compliance across all managed directories and subscriptions pretty easily. By using Azure Lighthouse, organizations can not only streamline management processes, but also enhance their operational efficiency. This makes an important tool for anyone managing multiple Azure environments to ensure that they can deliver consistent service levels and security across all operations. Now that we've explored the important tools Azure offers for managing and securing your IT infrastructure, not only with Azure Site Recovery, Azure Backup, and Azure Lighthouse, but also in our earlier episodes with the Azure Platform Services and Microsoft Defender for Cloud, as well as Sentinel. It's important to know how you can enhance your team's ability to use these tools effectively. And this brings us to the wealth of Azure security training and educational resources that's available. Let's look at how you and your team can deepen your Azure knowledge and expertise. First off, also offers a dedicated training platform designed to complement your learning journey in Azure Security. The also training platform provides customized learning experiences. So this is tailored courses that align with your specific training needs and business goals. There are also expert led sessions. So you can learn from industry experts who bring years of practical experience into their teaching. There is interactive workshops, so you can engage in work workshops that encourage practical learning and problem solving, whether you're prepping for a certification or looking to enhance your practical skills. Also's training platform supports your continuous learning and development in the field of Azure security. Then we have the native Microsoft educational resources. Now Microsoft offers a lineup of certifications that can cater to various levels of expertise and specific job roles in the Azure space. First, we have the very popular AZ900 Azure Fundamentals. Now, this is the ideal starting point for those brand new to cloud services and Azure. It covers basic cloud concepts, core Azure services, security, privacy, compliance, and trust. Next, we move to the Azure Security Engineer Associate, AZ500 certification. For those looking to specialize in securing Azure environments, this certification focuses on managing identity and access implementing security controls and threat protection, and then managing security operations. Let's look at AZ303 and 304, which is the Azure Solutions Architect Expert certifications. This is what it says, expert level certifications. It's designed for those who advise stakeholders and translate business requirements into secure, scalable, and reliable solutions in Azure. These certifications can really significantly boost your career by ensuring that your you're up to date with the latest Azure security technologies and best practices. Finally, we have Microsoft Learn, which is a free online learning platform that offers comprehensive learning paths customized to these specific certifications. Now, each path includes modules that combine interactive training, technical documentation, and practical exercises. This approach helps you to solidify your understanding of Azure services by applying knowledge in real world scenarios. It also ensures that you're not just learning, but also applying the knowledge that you've learned. For instance, you can take advantage of the hands-on labs that simulate real life use cases of the Azure Site Recovery and Azure Backup services, which allows you to then see firsthand how to configure and manage these services practically and effectively. All right, as we wrap up, 
We have covered Azure security features from Azure Site Recovery and Azure Backup to Azure Lighthouse. We've also looked into extensive training and certification opportunities through Microsoft Learn and the Also Training platform. We equip ourselves not only with the knowledge, but also with the practical skills to secure and manage our cloud environments effectively. Our journey continues. In our next episode, we will dive into an in-depth discussion of Azure Purview. This episode will be invaluable for those who are looking to understand how to manage and govern data across organization-wide data estates, ensuring compliance and security in data operations. Don't forget to check out the Also Cloud Marketplace for more tools and resources, but also check out the Also Readiness platform for training and certification options. Until next time, stay vigilant and stay secure.